Hello. Welcome back to the Patrick's Green Tea Podcast. I recorded this episode to commemorate what might be the dankest date ever, 4-20-2020. Most of the high was spent just enjoying myself, thinking back on the, my whole marijuana journey and celebrating what it's done for me. The episode itself ended up being a little short, but I wanted to record at least something for the occasion. Besides the guest episode with Asmund Reinigan, which was released early in Season 2, I wouldn't record another episode until July. There will be photos and text on patrickscreentea.com from the days in 2020 when I got high but didn't record an episode. The photos and text from 2018 and 2019 are all up there, but I haven't had time to start on this year yet. That's it, and I hope you enjoy the episode. Greetings, everyone. Um, it's 420 fucking 2020. 420 another two zero two zero ain't that fucking crazy it's a weird day went through a uh, roller coaster of emotions not really anything bad just like a bunch of weird ones roller coaster you know it be what they do I want to record a podcast today for at least some of it and I guess this would be closing out the high you get that tail end of the high um, it was hard to decide where to st- structure my or how to structure my day whether I should have been um, high later pod- record, the pod- record the podcast first or what so it was a struggle, and then eventually it was sort of a fuck it moment, and then I realized that I never recorded it before the high, which is okay. But that's what I was trying to do. It, it, it's not like... Sorry, I'm dragging shit around with my feet. Uh, it's not like the... Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Four twenty, exciting. I was thinking of recording another episode later, just as a bonus content, but I think I'm devoting too much time to this podcast. There's places that are much better needing of um, time of my time, like watching The Simpsons, which I just got into. It's really. I just realized that this this whole introduction has been very strange. I felt like. Some, uh, like it was just on some weird autopilot Anyways To get into some actual shit Some real shit Started watching The Simpsons I started, I watched the pilot episode And it was such a wacky episode And but just, I just love the way it's presented I don't know what it is about the structure of it I just really like the jokes Something about the jokes I don't know They land better They feel more mature Um I'm excited. That's a lot of content. Keep me busy if I'm out of work over the summer. Um, I won't talk about it too much on this podcast because it's kind of depressing, but a lot of classes I wanted to take, I can't take um, for scheduling issues and other reasons. So my whole sort of plan for my senior year was something and now it's going to be something completely different um so I don't even know what's going to happen I wanted something relevant to what I wanted to do which is like concert recording um or some, something to do with concerts you know whether it's documentary or it's the recording of the sound of the video or whatever just something like that just to like document these things these uh crazy things we call concerts so I should, probably should have been walking back to my car I'm gonna walk the other way um, I remember back in the day when I used to record in a car it never happens anymore does it anyway 
there are several trains of thoughts going, I think, but I completely don't remember any of them. This is how 420 should be properly celebrated. I'm barely being able to function or speak. <laughs> it's good to be alone, though, because I, I get into my thoughts really deep. And I have very intense um, experiences. Like, everything seems more... E everything bad seems much more heightened. And my fears are just like... The fear response is just amped so much. But the... Uh, the sort of... Whatever it is in weed that makes you really docile. Um, that goes up too. Like, innocent, can't hurt anything. Uh. See, so yeah, I go walk through the falls of the reservoir, I should say. My town has really pretty um, nature trails. There's one trail that I used to go to just by myself, not even to smoke, just to go to. And it was always just completely empty, not developed at all. I think in the past year or two, they developed it like crazy. And made it more well known. I don't know how you'd increase the popularity of something like a park though. How would that even happen? How would that work? I won't go to the lake because it's too windy. It's a shame though. I like that lake to look at it. And the sun just came out so. It's okay, I'll be back. Patrick, never leave a thing. Never leave a what if. Never leave the possibility of nothing ever happening. What if the reservoir dies tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know what I would do in that situation, to be honest. Anyway. People are liking the page on Instagram. At Patrick Screen T Podcast. A lot of people are like signing on and following at a fast, way faster rate than I thought. I like this Instagram thing. It makes it allows me to be more creative and like put pressure on me to be creative and produce like once a week. So I don't know. This whole podcast has become like a part-time job for myself, but I pay the company and they don't pay me anything. So. Seven twenty, nice. I keep hearing like a crunching behind me. Oh, those are gunshots. I love my town. <laughs> Sorry. I have this weird auditory hallucination. Feels like I'm listening to a, I don't know, like a pitch going up and down. It's really high in the octaves. Can't be made by anything organic. Probably like an electronic thing, like a siren. And then as soon as I thought siren, I freaked the fuck out. I can't wait to uh, celebrate 420 in a time when I don't have to worry about the police. I got all. Not that I have to. Everything I do is legal or semi-legal, right? All right, sorry, I'm getting my keys, which I can't remember where they are, but I actually do because muscle memory. All right, back to my recording studio. Back to my recording studio. Oh. Oh, so high, definitely. No. 
Well, what happened today? Listen to some music. Listen to a concert from a year. Uh, the current year of the podcast. Oh, it, it, I shouldn't even say that. It's going to confuse everything. It's not the current year of the podcast. It is in my time, but in your time, it's going to be two years ago. I'm a time traveler from the past. Anyways. Yeah. Whatever I just said. Yeah. I think this is going to be a short episode. I want to enjoy this high at 420 because this is going to be the, my, my penultimate high for a long time. So yeah. Hmm. I don't even know what's going on. It's really hot in here. I'm going to do something real quick. Watch out, guys. Magical. Okay, so. 420. I think I'm wasting it. No. Why did I even have that thought? Where did that even come from? I'm literally doing what you're supposed to do on 420. How am I wasting it? My brain has weird thoughts sometimes I have to contend with. The leaves outside look really good. They're just buds. And it's a bunch of them. Some, one tree is white with red buds. One is very light green. Like bordering on yellow, light green. Uh, bordering on white, light green. Um, and it has yellow buds. There's one that's more very light brown with maybe a little yellow with green buds. I can't wait to be a cannabis farmer, farm my own stuff. I wouldn't have a lot because I hear I hear they they're a high yield plant. But you have to care for them for several years. So I don't know. But I'd love to grow grow some, like a tomato farm, except it's cannabis. And somewhere where it's legal, of course. Not just in my backyard. You know? Obvi. Um, so. Um, so. The nightmare of every editor. Every, every time he hears that. SMH. Ow. I have this itch I got just now. It was very nice. Yeah. My podcasting skills turn to shit when I get a certain level of high. This is just complete bullshit. Everything I just said. Like, what the hell was that? If I had to transcribe it, I'd be like, what the fuck was I just talking about? Anyways. I want to check the time real quick. Because I kind of, like, for some reason, was it the podcasting or was it the activity I was doing that made me feel kind of bummed? I think it was the podcast. I don't know. I feel like podcasting should be something I, like, do when it's not based on a date. It's based on, like, every organic factor that's popped up in my um, high smoking, or weed smoking lifespan. Huh. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry if this has been rubbing against my fucking zipper. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, I hope that was not the case. No. And now I'm making just a bunch of noise. Thank you for tuning in, honestly. I have no idea what this episode was. Like, I was completely gone. Pretty much. That's just how it seems to me right now. 
Maybe it was a good podcast. But it was just so random. It was a lot more random than I expected. Although, I don't know what I would have done to just fill in a whole... 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Ah. I miss... What do I miss most about with quarantine? I miss... Going to other states. Doing fun stuff there. Because all the fun stuff in the states that would make me want to drive to another state to attend are being cancelled. That's what I miss most. I guess. I don't know. I miss a lot of things. TBH. I keep saying TBH. TBH. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so's cousin. Four twenty. What are my thoughts on four twenty? Having experienced it now, hi. Doing it alone is not the way. You're supposed to do it with like a group of friends who are gonna keep you all keep each other anchored. Do friends keep you anchored in a social setting, or do they freak you out more? I haven't really hung out in group settings enough to know. It feels very grounding. Like everything revolves around you guys when you have when you set up plans, you know. I don't know. What I sort of miss out on usually is a sort of um I don't know. Like a fr- uh a wide friend circle of semi-friends, you know? Like, I have them, but they're very few. And by semi-friends, I mean, like, not inner circle people, like, friends, like, the very few people you confide in. The friends who you would probably trust, but, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm even trying to say. Either way, what I'm really trying to say is that I don't really have a big friend group in college especially and I I did have one in high school for sure especially doing all the uh, the things I did and drama and everything I talked to a lot of people and it was really um, rewarding but then when I got to college with no marching band which I would have loved that's where I made all my friends band in high school everywhere else it was like Only with working with them, you know, that I was able to, uh, socialize, I guess. I don't know why. It just brought out some, like, positive aspect in me. Anyways, I don't even know where I'm trying to go with any of this. That's okay. I have a Cherry Blossom Honey air freshener, and it's definitely, uh, expired. Yeah, I smell nothing. I think it's been there for a while, so I'm going to take it off. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, so next, we're going to get a new air freshener. Oh, are we out? Yeah, I guess so. All right. So guys, what are our ending thoughts? Because this is going to be a short episode, as I said. I want to enjoy 420 and just fucking vibe out, you know? Um, It's 2.59. I am, just for the record, 50 minutes into the high. So it's pretty much over. But the after effects are coming. So thank you guys. Happy 420 from the past to you in the future. So the, me saying happy 420 is going to be completely irrelevant to you. But I don't know. Maybe I should release this as a podcast. No, I don't know. Hey, I was going to say release this now in my time have it be relevant 
take it down way later on down the line when we're at 2020 and the release schedule and post it again. Would that be sleazy? That annoy people? Maybe we'll just have an extra prologue. I don't know. Either way, it's 20 minutes, y'all. Happy 420, 20 minutes after 420. Pro- just kidding, it wasn't 420. It's now 3, so it was probably like 240. But it's inverted, kinda. It's like an ambigram. Alright, bye everyone. Hello. Thanks for listening to the podcast. You can find me at Patrick Screen T on Patreon, Discord, Spotify, YouTube, Twitch, and Bandcamp, Patrick Screen T Podcast on Instagram, and Patrick Green T without an S on Twitter. The show is available wherever you get your podcasts. Supplemental materials like photos and text are available on our website, patrickscreentea.com. You can join our subreddit at r slash patrickscreen You can make comments on YouTube and on the website, and you can contact me directly at patrickscreentea at gmail.com. Don't forget to leave a review of the show on your favorite podcasting platform. It really helps us out. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day.